Hello everyone! Today I'm about to test another unit, another steel. As usual, it's a really convenient time for someone to run whatever small engine somewhere nearby. Also, there's a windy as usual, and I use those two heavy springs just to hold this plastic container in one spot because otherwise it would be blown and every, all content gonna be on the floor control uh, set at approximately 410 degrees and now we've got 100 something degrees already now running at 410 trying to adjust to see the best ratio it's still pushing out uh, good oil from the priming so I collect it separately once I collect about 5 liters, I would see the difference between this good one and uh, actual waste one. So this particular oil should be processed as well. Further, I will add it back to the processing batch, to the feedstock. Now this machine. Now it's okay, it's been a little bit smoking at the beginning because the new gaskets now they sit there's a still a little bit of smoke from the gasket possibly sipping a little bit but not a problem okay uh, what else so it's a 410 and i uh, got very very thick oil uh, possibly should need to decrease the supply flow to increase the temperature and possibly output as well so to keep it at approximately 420 degrees now it skips at 410 and 410 gives not the fastest production speed but probably best quality of the produce so i'll show you the quality of the produced traction uh, that gives gives fractions by the portions so it fills up the cylinder and when it's filled up completely and cools down inside it releases the portion i don't know it works this way so collecting it here this one is for possible light fractions if any don't see any right now usually light fractions are produced when you're running at high hot temperature so it's a byproduct of uh, destructive distillation now we don't have any light fractions so there's no destruction probably i would need to increase the temperature by reducing the supply to the machine we'll see so increase the conversion ratio Uh, here's a production rate. I hope this production rate will keep this way. Possibly I would need to increase the supply because temperature is 420, it doesn't go down. And uh, just to ensure that it won't boil all the oil out of the reactor and start to smoke, I would need to increase the supply and observe. As you can see, it's yellow yellowish but it's not transparent it definitely contains some sort of uh, haze particles i don't know definitely it still needs to be cleaned there's no way it's gonna be uh, put into the fuel tank this way because it will definitely oxidize and clog all the fuel system lines and intake valves or whatever injectors so this is just uh, the semi product it still needs to be treated before any further use we'll see the machine is new and 
possibly it would start to produce relatively clear one because there's a could be a lot of dirt and haze just within the unit itself it has been built and it could be just cleaned up by the vapors is a unit this particular one was built with intention to process automatic transmission fluids these samples would contain some water at the bottom because oil still has some water moisture whatever it's all possible And this particular oil that I am processing already been treated through the centrifuge and settled and it doesn't leave any carbon residue, it's not black. And the resulting oil, the resulting oil is not stinky. So it's not the production rate, production rate a bit slower, uh, it's just the uh, next cycle when the cylinder is full, it's discharges, it's content, approximately one, one and a half liter of content, portion by portion, then it will take another time to replenish. Okay, we'll try to check for the actual production flow so here's a production flow it's very hot but within the cylinder it cools down it will be faster with different type of oil like uh, automatic transmission fluid that's designed for will process it much faster at lower temperatures waste flow will differ according to the type of oil amount of additives in the oil Yeah, it's still hazy and it will be but you can physically see those tiny particles within the liquid so as long as they just uh, mechanical inclusions they will be easy to get rid of I increase the production temperature up to 423 degrees is the oil yeah and you can see despite of being really thick it doesn't leave any black residue, so it's uh, relatively clean. This uh, oil distiller should be treated as uh, someone would treat their car. 
uh, no one would put any rubbish in the car and the oil that's yesterday been good for the Mercedes-Benz or Toyota or whatever car and it's just drained so it becomes a waste oil or used oil so this is the type of oil I'm recommending to process yeah it's used oil you can see there's no gunlatch in this particular oil it's thick but it's clean production flow okay let it replenish the cylinder and see what the quality of the fuel is gonna be so now it's a sort of transparent I'm running at 423 degrees increase actual supply a little bit oil is almost gone just a little bit left Just a little bit of oil still in the drum. Almost nothing left. So I believe this is it. I'm gonna let it run for another five, six minutes. So the oil within the reactor would evaporate. Then I will shut it down. I will drain the cooling cylinder. And this is it, take it apart, clean it up and prepare for shipment. Thank <laughs> you. 